Good morning. I think that's Newquay over there. The sun's shining on it. Anyway, it's a lovely, well, it is now a lovely morning. It was raining quite heavily when I woke up. I thought I'll just do a little ride today, so we'll head off to Tregaron. It's the 8th of May bank holiday today because of the King's coronation on Saturday, so I've had an extra extra day off work. Just parked off ready parked up ready to set off and the the gull pooped. Most of it landed there though so I was alright. There they are look. It stopped raining. I don't know how long it'll hold off for. It's hammering down at four o'clock this morning, but the roads are already pretty dry, so... This is the view, the view from the helmet cam. The first time using it on the bike, so we'll ride the problem and see how it comes out. Where's he going?
River Estwith that flows all the way up to through Quimestwith up to the summit of the Elam Valley Mountain Road and then Elam Valley is on the other side. That goes down to Raida. Flows into the River Wye and then the Severn and then that's it. Right. I'll switch the GoPro off here for a minute and film a bit later on. I'm noticing the weight. This is the actual old railway line that we're back on that the Swift Trail follows. I'm heading off up to the road. It's pulled in here initially because of the tractors. But it's a beautiful view, I never noticed it before. So, Pendinas Monument. And then you can see the dark, dark greeny brown of the heather. And then the green field next to it and the railway line. white houses are. Which is Fridifellin. This hill here is the hill that you can ride over between Fridifellin and Llanilla, past the windmill and the mast. And then Llanilla is just up the valley down there. I have ridden around this hill, along the valley, down there, and I've turned off the Estworth Trail down there, ridden up the main road to these houses, and then I've ridden up this road. And for the briefest moment there was a patch of sun it's very humid. I'll be riding up to that house up there, turning the corner, and then it's a bit flatter. The biggest difference I've noticed is the swallows now calling. So they're uh, they're well and truly back now. It's a tough old climb out of Flangour Avon. But looking back, you can see where I've come from. There's Pendinas again, looking up, uh, and then the coast lower going up north. Looks like there's a, there's a shower drifting across, I can feel the edge of it. Onwards to Trefenta. It's very windy, it's a bit unpleasant on the climb, so uh, filming quality won't be very good. I used to think they were for getting on horses, well obviously you can do that too, but um, they're for milk churns in the old days when there was more milk production, or well when they produced it uh, more locally, instead of the tanker coming and pumping the milk out used to come in the lorry and collect the churns and uh, that's what these are, that's quite a, an advanced one, others are just blocks of concrete but uh, didn't know till recently I was reading a 
one of the poems from Neris Williams' book Republic and she mentioned them so you can see there's a farm there still and then some old cottages there and then a residence up there no uh, milk churns that's what they're for I don't know how well that's coming out, but that's the first cuckoo I've heard this year. I shan't be able to see it. Oh, it's nice, nice to hear he stopped now. That's the first vehicle I've seen since those two tractors about 45 minutes ago. Well, no, it must be more than an hour now. Whatever time it is, I don't know. Quarter to twelve. The cuckoo and the skylarks and the swallows, so summer's here. Well, spring at least, and the, the collared doves are quite active, so that's nice. So we'll be heading up there, and then over that mountain. Made it to the summit of the Treventa climb. KOM attempt, hampered by wind. Mostly uh, two cars, but I didn't have to slow down because the road was wide enough. But uh, I suppose it made me a bit more cautious on the blind bends. There's uh, Pendinas and Abba and Consti. Blind Floyd. Oh. Penta wind family. Showers passed over, man. There's a worse one coming. Enjoying the beach lined roads of Keredigian.
on the way to see the Welsh Tree of Perspective. Some nice yellow flowers on the side of the road, I don't know what they are. I'll be heading back the other side of Cors Caron. That's uh, Cors Caron there. It's a high altitude bog. Useful habitat for conservation apparently. And then beyond that is the Cambrian Mountains. So the Aberguessin Pass will be over in that direction. And then Strata Florida over there and the gravel track in between somewhere. It looks a bit misty up there. I think that tree there is the tree of perspective. If I remember correctly, the road goes past up there. Around the corner, so yeah, we'll get a look at it. And press on to Tregaron. Have to have a bite to eat there because I'm getting a bit tired now. Working the weekend, cleaning up after the student union rave. I wasn't in the SU, but the rest of campus was uh, bad, especially the library, which is next to the union. There was a guy in there asleep in the morning. Hoovering, and uh, he wouldn't wake up. He was alive, though. We did check. Anyway, I'll head up to the tree and then on to Tregaron. There we are, there's the tree. I can fit it through the bike frame and uh, inside of a fence, uh, fence square. Oh, there's the, there's the sheep as well. And it has a lovely view over to Cors Caron down there. And uh, there'll be an absolutely cracking tailwind by the feel of it from Tregaron to Bond. Which I could do with. I'll just have a bite to eat here and head, uh, head back tired. No, it looks misty up on the hills. Lovely day, heard my second cuckoo at Bronand, uh, willow warblers, lots of goldfinches about. You hear willow warbler in the far distance over there. came. Very nice road this. Nice windbreak here with the hedge as well. I only found this lane back in late February I think it was. Saw the tree and thought, oh finally, Welsh tree of perspective after many years of looking for one. Discovered the English one in 2020. One to match it, which isn't as doesn't look as grand from here, but it looks more Welsh. So that's good. Just left the tree, and the rain's coming in now. Sharp, big drops. Could well be in for the rest of the day looking at the Cambrians on the horizon, you can barely see them. Yeah, it could be here for the rest of the day, or it could be over in a few minutes. Put 
the birds off though. Oh, ice cream. Can't stop for an ice cream. And go all the way to Tregaron. And all the way back to Aber. There's probably nothing open in Tregaron. I don't know, it's a bank holiday. I'm going to press on. Well, speaking a bit. I'm taking the Ustworth Trail all the way back. I'll have a look and see what sort of birds are on the lakes up here. been uh, overtaken by a Range Rover and splashed. Not that it could have made me any wetter. So it was a, if it was an attempt at annoyance, it didn't work. <laughs> so, it's the sort of rain that gets you soaked immediately today. The guy in the car gave me the thumbs up. I don't know who it was though. I've been waved at quite a lot today, uh, in a friendly fashion. I don't know who these people are. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. They're enjoying the weather. Maybe, maybe not. I was about to ring, but moved off. Under there. That's quite full, the car park. <clears throat> so we'll be heading back to Tregaron. Uh, I mean, Aberystwyth, Swift, I've just been through Tregaron. About 15 miles. So I'll uh, speak in a bit. Very quick bit of recording. I can hear the third cuckoo. Oh, he's stopped now, but the sky's brightening up, so it might just about stop by the time I get to Aber. Just left course, Caron. Have a bite to eat under here. It did brighten up a bit. Well, it has. It looks a bit brighter, but it's still raining.
coming up to the hard bit now it's the last six yards of steep uphill it's going to be muddy right, power 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 ah no not strong enough. I probably lost a bit of traction, but there's uh, one out. Back on the railway line now. It'd be so much nicer if it carried on, but <coughs> it doesn't. That's still going. 12% left on the battery. You 
descent and climb in one go. Right, nice freewheel downhill and then back on the road, back on the railway line, cross the road, Estworth Trail all the way back. Well, uh, everything's filthy dirty and soaking wet as expected. The rain has stopped for the moment though. So it should be a nice run back. I don't think it's going to be too busy now. Probably going to be some intrepid person out. But uh, no, it's been, been a nice run back. We'll head into our Abba. It'll probably be around around half three I think, get back and uh, there's plenty of time to dry off before work tomorrow. I'm just looking up at the tree of resilience. It's a tree that I uh, see on the Istworth Trail on the way back. I thought it had been cut down but there were a bunch of cows stood in front of it. So it looked like a different tree. They've moved now so it's still there on the horizon. Just riding in on the tarmac now. The off-roading is finished. But uh, my socks are much worse for wear, look. Legs and everything. I've made it back into Aberystwyth, just about heading off into the fog. I've started to bonk as well. I'll, uh, I want to see if I can make it to the other end. I've managed to make it to the end. I can barely see anything. I think I'm recording, yes it's going. Uh, 45 miles ridden in the end, that's a good ride, quite tough actually. Tired after the week, week and uh, not fit generally, so the poo has nearly washed away. The rain has stopped though. I might go to go to a place where I can buy a sweet bun or something after I've had my dinner. So with that, I'm just going to head in, say thanks very much for watching, and until next time, cheerio.